I have been putting off making this video for a long time. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Brandon's Universe. My name is Brandon Wallace. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right quick if you haven't already. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for your continued support or for your new support. If you're new, welcome. How you doing? Okay, let's get right into this video real quick fast. So in my 27 years of life, I have done a lot of things I'm not proud of. I've done a lot of things that I am proud of. I've done some things where they're kind of in the middle. But um, one of the most tragic things that I've ever done and something that I am not proud of to this day and I regret that I did this and it's my own fault I don't blame nobody else I don't put it on nobody else everything that happened in this time period of my life is all on me I did it I'm responsible I'm a horrible person because of it and I just wish I could go back in time and do that again like that is the only thing I wish I could go back in time and do and that is um fall of 2011 and the spring of 2012. <laughs> I would like to redo my freshman year in college. So for those who don't know, I went to Valdosta State University my freshman year in college. Um, I was majoring in theater and I was very excited to go to college and actually major in something that I really wanted to do in my life. I really want to act, so I was happy to go and do that. So I was very ecstatic and happy to go there. I met some really good people online before I got there. I had a really dope roommate and I was just very, I was just in really good spirits. I couldn't wait to get to school. Um, the first, I'll say the first month, I was, I feel like I was invested. I was very dedicated. I was in there, was going to class. I was doing homework. I was very in it. I was very in it. Come, you know, later on in the first semester, I started to dwindle going to class. I started to do less and less homework. And I started to focus more so on the guy that I was talking to at the time the friends that I was making. I want to spend more time with them and be all invested in them and know and get to know these people. Um, sleeping became my favorite topic ever. I love it to sleep. Um, and I just became really invested in my freedom. I was free. Like I taught a dance class. I, like I said, I was dating. I was dating one particular guy most of the time, but I was out here learning myself and getting to know more people. And so that was first semester. I just didn't do a lot of homework. I didn't do quality homework. I didn't show up to certain classes. Like I stopped going to English class a lot. History was wavering. And then I definitely stopped going to math modeling. I didn't like that class. I couldn't stand that class. Me and my friend Nia, we would leave all the time. But um, I passed the class. <laughs> but still, it's, I still should have taken the time to focus more and be more into the experience not only for the freedom but for the actual education that i was partially paying for like we can have loans so now i'm sound bad i'm now paying on these now i have student loan debt <laughs> now going into second semester i was on academic probation i was supposed to meet with the uh with my advisor or the academic probation people at the top of the year i didn't go to her until march why I couldn't tell you. Um, I was focused so much on being with my friends and my freedom. I was getting to know these new people. Some of these people I'm still friends with to this day. Some of these people I still talk to and I'm, I, I still very much love and respect. And I'm so proud of everything that they're accomplishing in their lives because they finished school. Um, most of them have gone on to get their masters. Most of them, you know, they got their undergrad and they're working very, very hard in their field. And it makes me very happy to see their growth. And I'm just so proud of everyone that I came up with at Valdosta. You guys are doing wonderful things. And I'm so proud of all of you. Uh, shout out to all of y'all. But second semester, I was focused a lot more again on sleeping. I ate a lot more. I didn't drink as much, but I feel like I drank more than I did first semester. I began smoking weed and I'm not saying anything negatively, no, I'm not saying anything negative about marijuana. I think marijuana is great, I think it's amazing. But that, that took a lot of my time. I started smoking black and miles. I started to skip classes to go hang out with friends. I used to go to my first class at eight o'clock and I would sleep from uh, nine to six in the evening and I would be up from six 
to seven in the morning and then I would sleep the day away. Um, it just became a very toxic cycle. And then one night when we were drinking and smoking, um, I had a very dramatic breakdown. Um, and my friend Diamond, hey Diamond, how you doing? Was there for me in that moment and was just like, you know what you need to do. Why aren't you doing it? It's, this, this has become a repeated cycle in my life. I don't want to get into that deep conversation right now. I'm looking for therapists as we speak. Just let's not get into it. I love y'all. Just give me a second. So yeah, moral of this story is I took advantage of the opportunities I was given. I took advantage of the time that I had. I took advantage of the money that was being spent on me. Because not only did I have loans, my aunt also paid for part of my tuition. Um, so again, wasting money, wasting my time, and wasting my opportunity. Um, I just kind of blocked out all things that wasn't con concerning my friends, getting high, getting drunk, or sleep, or food. Like, if it wasn't pertaining to those specific things, I didn't care. And I hate that that was what my mindset was. I hate that's where I was. I hate that was my focus. And just, I hate that when it comes to school, my focus is not school. It's getting to know people and being social and all the other kind of stuff. And I have to understand that being social is cute, but it's not gonna get you anywhere if you're not focused on the task at hand. The task at hand was my education and I was focused on being somebody's friend. And that was my issue. And so moving forward, in my life if i choose to go back to school i want to do it because i want to do it and because i'm focused and able to sit down and actually apply myself in that way i don't want to do it to make somebody else feel proud of me i don't want to do it to make somebody else happy i want to do it because it makes me happy and i'm proud of myself for doing it um I just look at all my friends who graduated or the people that I know who have graduated and are moving on and doing great things in their lives and their careers and just building families and being great. I just feel, I feel like that could have been me if I would have focused and paid more attention and did what I was supposed to do. But because I was being stupid, um, <laughs> I miss out on those opportunities. I feel like I would have been so much further off. I could have been a teacher in theater. I could have gone back to my alma mater maybe and taught there. I could have done so much more. I could have been so much more, but um, it's my own fault. And so uh, I gotta take that one on the chin and be thankful for the opportunities that I have had. I've done a lot of amazing things outside of uh, that opportunity in that space. And I'm just very thankful for those opportunities that I've had, um, especially things that have gone on in my field. I'm very thankful for that. Um, but I just can't help but have that hover over my mind that I fucked up. Your well, enough of this sad stuff. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you all are doing what you love to do and taking advantage of the opportunities in the best way, in a positive way. Don't let life, people, or substances get in the way of you achieving your goal, following your dream, and being the best version of yourself because you don't want to look back. You don't want to look back eight years later and nine years later and be disappointed about where you are now. So yeah, thanks again so much for watching. You all have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Enjoy your time. Um, praying for everyone affected by coronavirus or who has been, who knows somebody who's affected or who is just, who is in, in, in fear of, just praying for everyone. Um, please stay safe, uh, wash your hands and uh, practice social distancing, social distancing, but not emotional distancing. Come together and um, support one another and love on one another. I love you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Good night.